Hey guys, this is Production Music Live with another tutorial and it's part of our EQ tutorial series. In this tutorial we're going to talk about mid-side EQ. Mid-side EQ is a concept that you can achieve with the EQ8 by, by Ableton or also with other EQs like FabFilter, ProQ or something. It basically works as soon as you change the mode over here from stereo to mid-side. So now we are in mid-side mode on this equalizer over here. And everything we are applying with the M over here will affect the mid of your panorama. And if we put it on side, it will affect the sides of your panorama. So, um, well, maybe we can make it a little more visual with the analyzer. Let's place an analyzer behind this track. We are talking about this spectrum over here. I'm going to do that on two tracks of the same sound, so I'm going to copy this analyzer and place it here as well. I'm going to put that track on a mid-side mode as well. So I want to work with two pad sounds over here and I don't want them to interfere too much. I want one of the pad sounds to really lay in the middle of our audio panorama without having too much reverbs and I want the other one, the other pad, to be in the back on the sides and have a lot of reverb. So let's try to achieve this with mid-side. I'm soloing the first one. I'm soloing the first pad which is going to be in the mid and the second one is going to be reverb side. Let's start with that one. See, if I open up the chorus effect, the chorus will take everything to the sides immediately. And if I close it down, we are staying in the middle. So that's already pretty nice. And since the sound is so mono, I don't need to do anything with the EQ on that track right now. We are in the middle and it's fine like that. And maybe we can try to put a little bit more of the sound in the lower frequencies into the mids. So we are cutting out some of the higher frequencies pretty drastical in that way. We can see something over here. Let's take down the chorus. So we are in the lower mids and we are absolutely in the middle of our panorama. And now um, I'd like to do the opposite with the second one, with the second pad. Let's analyze this over here. First I want to open it up a little bit. Without going too much in the anti-phase over here. And now um, I want to cut out basically the frequencies that are already being played by this mid. And that should be in mid mode, everything in this area over here. So I'm taking up this low cut. I'm taking up to 600 something. So um, this stuff doesn't appear in the middle anymore. And now we are going to the side and um, well, the side I'd like to emphasize a little bit in with a high shelf maybe and cut out the lower things with, uh, with the opposite over here. So that's what I want to apply on the sides. Higher frequencies yes, lower frequencies no.
And let's play both of them together. Of the first track, or in the middle, the warm signal and we have this reverb paddy signal of the other one on the sides and we achieve that effect mainly by uh, mid-side EQing. So getting everything into the middle and into the lower mid frequencies of your spectrum on that track over here and taking exactly the opposite direction by cutting those out and, and leaving just those higher frequencies in the middle, maybe we could even take them more out over here and emphasizing the side high frequencies for that pad and also playing a reverb along. That's basically the concept of mid-side EQ. You can also do that with left-right but that's part of another tutorial and I hope you get the concept, you enjoyed this tutorial. If you're interested in uh, how to make this sound and this track over here, we have a complete tutorial on that. I'm going to put a link in there. Post your comments below and subscribe to our channel and I hope to see you next time.